Hey everyone, Mike here from ArnoldTutoring.com uh, with a pretty tricky question actually. This is on factoring, but it doesn't really give us any numbers to work with, so it's going to require a little bit of thought. Uh, so here we have this equation 2x squared plus kx plus k. Determine the value of k, so k is some number, so that the equation is factorable. Okay, so let's think about uh, factorable. Generally, we look at uh, we need two numbers, right? And our two numbers need to multiply to what we usually say is a times c. So that's the first coefficient times the last constant. So in this case, that's 2 times k. So our two numbers need to multiply to 2k. And they, they need to add to the middle number, which is just k. So let's recap there. We need two numbers that multiply to 2k and add to k very difficult. Um, if we start thinking about that though, multiplying to twice as much as we add to, that's got to be something to do with probably positive or negative 1. Right, so if, if we think about k being 1, if k equals 1, and this is what I would do, I would actually try some out. In fact, let's start with k equals 0. If k equals 0, then that means we have to multiply to 0 and add to 0. Right? You would just sub it in here. But you can't, you can't multiply to 0 and add to 0 because both the numbers would be 0 and that wouldn't even make sense. k can't be 0. So 0 is out. What if k equals 1? Then we would want to multiply to 2 and add to 1. Are there two numbers that multiply to 2 and add to 1? No. So you can already see that because the multiplication number is higher, our number's probably going to have to be negative. So in blue, let's try k equals 1. Uh, I'm sorry, negative 1. If that's the case, we need two numbers that multiply to 2 times k, so 2 times negative 1, so negative 2, and two numbers that add to k, which is negative 1 in this case. Do we have those two numbers? Yeah because negative 2 and 1. Those two multiply to negative 2, add to negative 1. And we can check it, right? If we had 2x squared plus, I'm sorry, minus x, because k is negative 1, minus x minus 1, this would factor nicely into 2x uh, plus 1 and x minus 1. So that's how we know k is equal to negative 1. Another way we could do this is a bit more sophisticated. We know that any uh, trinomial that starts with 2x squared is going to factor, or if it factors, it'll factor into two brackets where one starts with 2x and the other starts with x. It has to be that. There's no other numbers that multiply to 2x squared. Now our back, whatever number goes here, is going to get multiplied to 2x if we were to multiply it back out to check that it equals the trinomial. Whatever number goes here will get multiplied to 1x. So we know that this is going to be twice, let's write it, twice as much as this guy when it's multiplied out. But since we still need to add to just k, the same amount that we multiply to, um, we know that it has to be 1, because the second you, you tried k being 3, when you multiply twice as much uh, by going back here, you're going to get 6. So that's no good. We need that difference to be the same. So that's how we know this is 1 and 1. And then you can just uh, determine where the positives and the negatives go. So in this case, it was positive here a negative here, and that would, uh, if we multiply that back out, we'd get 2x squared minus x minus 1, so we know k equals negative 1. Really tricky question, but if you can determine that the numbers can't be too far apart, because there's k on the end and k in the middle, uh, you'll know it's around 0 somewhere, 1, negative 1, I would, I would have tried 2 and negative 2 next. Hopefully that helps, you can always send us more questions, info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks.